It's Pac-Man time. It's also coffee and mug brownie time. Pac-Man, possibly the first game I ever played as a kid. This, this is the arcade version, so this is definitely the version I played when I was little. Nice. I, I think I played Mrs. Pac-Man before I played Pac-Man. Your generation and your... <laughs> anyway, oh, I probably should press X so I can start. I was expecting it to load. Oh, oh, oh it's starting. It's oh, starting. Yeah, so anyway, I, yeah, I played the arcade version, and I played the um, the Atari version, which pretty much the same thing. Oh, nice. So, let's get this party started. Mm-hmm. Yay. You know what I realized is interesting? Hmm. Because uh, you, Allison, and Andrew are, are all in your early 20s, and I'm, uh, I was born in 85, so I realized it's kind of just comparing... Uh, me to y'all, the things we say, or, or reference, I was born in an odd period where I was kind of at the latter end of a transition period into the new, oh god, into the new <laughs> age. You know what I'm talking about? Like, of I would gaming? reference, well not just gaming, but in general, because I was referencing... Like the digital age? Yeah, I could reference anything, any kind of pop cultural thing, such gotcha. as... Uh, uh, did you, when, oh. ah, when, when I, in, um, damn it, Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus, when I was talking about Rodney Dangerfield, you knew who I was talking about, right? No. See, that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> Allison, Allison knew who that was because Kevin and my, my brother and I have referenced him before, but, um, that's what I mean is y'all don't, and I'm willing to bet Andrew doesn't either, y'all don't know who these people are. But I do. Yeah. I can reference these older things. I'm not old, but I, I'm in that, like I said, I was in that transition into yeah. the new age where some of the old was still remembered and lingered just just a little bit longer. Mm. I would say it wasn't until the mid-90s that most of that was pretty much gone. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that just that's kind of interesting. Kind of an interesting... Uh, group we have here you got that one not old person but who's still clearly older than everyone else in the group yeah like i get the gist of a lot of the references you say <laughs> but i don't know exactly what they are directly referencing about i don't know maybe like 40 percent of the time i don't know what it's referencing oh shit oh yeah i think um but my my like my older sisters didn't really get me into any older stuff generally. Like, well, yeah, my one sister got me into anime, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, and my other sister got me into martial arts, which kind of built on my like of anime at the time. So you know. Well, now uh, I'm down to one uh one Pac-Man. <laughs> One life. One life to live. I'm guessing you probably wouldn't get that reference either. <laughs> ah, 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 ah! You got it. Oh. Nice. Level three. So... Story, wait. Oh, yeah. What's gonna happen? We got bigger! Oh Look at us! God. No, 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 no. Um, what about, so you, but you did play Pac-Man. Yes. Granted, it was, it was Mrs. Pac-Man, but it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I didn't really get to go to many arcades for the sake of them just being arcades. Like, mm -hmm. it was always Chuck E. Cheese for, like, pizza parties and birthday parties and stuff like that. Or, like, arcade, like, mini arcades at the mall that had, like, five machines. Or the ones at, like, CeCe's Pizza. But I've never been to a actual, just straight up, just arcade. You know that's a good thing to bring up too. Shit, I'm dead. No, no, I've got one more. You got it. Oh, uh, that's a good one to bring up too. Is arcades? Because 
you know, by the time you and Allison were born, arcades were pretty much on the way out. Really? Again, you did have... Was like, that early? Yeah, by the mid-90s. Yeah, I, I didn't say it was out. It was on the way out. Mm. Again, it's that, that transition. But when I was little, they were still very big. In fact, uh... Ah! ah! And that's, that's the end the of end. that's the end of that story. I'm dead. You won't get to hear the rest of it. <laughs> no, but right, wait, is it is it joystick or is it D pad? Both. Oh, okay, sweet. Uh, yeah, my brother and I were little. We played the. I think you've played it before. The Simpson Arcade. It kind of plays like Ninja Tur every Ninja Turtle game ever. Uh, I played it a tiny, tiny bit at RTX. Yeah, that game we played at, uh, you're not going to get this, but Time Saver. Would you know what I meant if I said the Time Saver? No. Oh, uh, it was like, a, it was a, a convenience store. There used to be a whole bunch of them. Now I, I doubt, I wouldn't be surprised if they were all gone. In fact, if I said KMB, would you know what I meant? I've heard of that one at least. Okay. But, uh, yes, we, we would go to the local Time Saver, and, uh, that the arcade was there. The arcade, um, this was when, uh, uh, uh gas stations actually had arcades in them. Yeah. Um, and it had the Simpson arcade game. I'm sure they had some other crappy game, but, um... No, I, I meant to turn! No! Our grandmother would take us there every Friday evening after school. And one day, she had a shitload of, qu of quarters. No idea where she got them, but... She stole them. <laughs> we don't ask questions, but, um... Again, she had a ton of these things, and... Well... Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Two so lives in level one. Ah. So, we would... We used those quarters to play the Simpson game, and we got... He was Homer, and I was Bart, I believe, and... We got all the way to Mr. Burns, the last enemy in the game. We beat Smithers, and then we had to fight Mr. Burns in his mech uh, armor. <laughs> Why did it? No! 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 This joystick betrayed me! I let go of it, and it bounced back, and me... Uh, no! Oh my god, I was greedy and went to get more points and ate the ghosts. Would you like a freebie, or you ready to fork no, that it's, over? No, uh, go. This is my hubris uh yep that and we that like i said we used all of those quarters we got to mr birds and uh, if we if we had had one more quarter <laughs> just one more because he had a sliver of health left well you can't they didn't have health but you can tell because like they were blinking mm -hmm. that's how you could tell they were near death is they blinked um but damn it we were so close <laughs> And it was, it just, that victory would have tasted so sweet because it was an arcade game. It wasn't like we were at home sitting in our chairs playing a game. We we were at an arcade and we almost won. I know. I never, ah! I never got to have that. I always wanted that. It always seemed so cool just having everyone like around you when you're playing an arcade game just being like, oh my God, are they going to do it? <laughs> there was no one around well, us. Well, that yeah, at least the a, feeling, you know? It's a fun thought. You know the feeling, right? Just yeah. the, like, oh, we're, are, even if, if it's just like, oh my god, are we going to do it? Is this happening? And, like, the high score and everything would have had our names on it. Exactly. Well, we I had that feeling once. And it was because I had Guitar Hero 3, and I had played Reptilia so many times that I just knew how to play it. So when they had a Guitar Hero arcade game at a laser tag I went to, I literally just played Reptilia facing the other way. Just like talking to my friends. Bitch! And I had like three people actually notice that. That felt nice. They're, they just walked up like, well, how are you doing that? And I'm just like, it's just, it's, I, I have it at home. It's no biggie. Well, it's, it's really no biggie. It's kind of, it's kind of a repetitive song anyway. But hey, yeah, it, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun to kind of be, you know, we're not the most extroverted people, but ever, damn it. Damn it! We're terrible. Oh my god. 
it's fun to kind of be the center sometimes when it's something you're you're somewhat passionate about like i remember when my brother and another one of my friends um you know him obviously i won't name him for the sake of this podcast but um we our first time going to frenchman street in the french quarter um dressed as the Ghostbusters. You know how Frenchman Street during Halloween, everybody's dressed up there. It's a huge party. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Again, hubris. <laughs> <laughs> we had, we custom made our Ghostbuster outfits. So we actually built the packs and it's mostly wood and resin, but it, it looked convincing, especially at night. And, uh, and we had the jumpsuits and we were the, everybody loved us. Like, we walked by, and people were actually cheering, and they, they loved our outfits. And we felt like the Ghostbusters. It felt like that, that scene in the first movie when they're... It's near the end where they're going to Dana Barrett's apartment, and uh, or not... Yeah, her high-rise apartment. And all the people are gathered there, and they're all cheering the Ghostbusters when they arrive. Yeah. It, I felt like that. It was that moment for what? me. Oh my god, I just keep turning wrong with the joystick. If that's all I'm doing, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna hold it with one hand like it's an old school joystick and see if that helps me at all. But you know what I mean? How it's like, you know, you don't really, not, none of us likes to be the center of attention, but every now and then, if the circumstances are right, it feels good. Yee. Yee. I, mean, I got this. I got this. I will get to level three. <laughs> since you mentioned karate earlier, oh, uh, get away from me. when you you know taekwondo, was it kind of like that when during your matches? Oh my god, yes. Even if you didn't win them, it it, it still felt like you felt like uh, you were happy to get the attention. Exactly. It was the right kind of attention. Because it felt like say. not not to sound narcissistic or anything. It felt like I earned it for that one tiny moment. It's like hey. Oh. I accomplished a thing. Ow. Oh my god. I did not inherit my mom's Pac-Man skills. <laughs> All right. Uh, new, our new goal is uh, beat that high score, 12-6-10. Oh Let's god. just beat that. For the love of God, can we just do that much? We'll, we'll try our best. <laughs> oh my god. Obviously, we're not going to beat this thing, so let's see if we can get... If I had a, if I had a, a, a classic joystick attachment for this... PS4 version of the game, I would be top not I don't even know. I'd probably be just as bad. <laughs> well, oh god. Ah! I think I, I just we just panic too much. That's the problem. <laughs> I just keep moving the stick slightly in the wrong direction, but it's like there's no there's no slightly in Pac-Man. It's up down left right, so. Yeah. <laughs> you got to eat these ghosts too. You get more points when yeah, you Yeah, I know. Them. It's also, the fruit. I, I was trying failing. to get the fruit. Yeah, there we go. I gotta get that fruit. A hundred points! If they build a... up over time. Yeah. I think the orange is worth 500. Or whatever it is. It might may just be like grapefruit or something, but... Uh, I don't remember getting too far in Pac-Man. Ah! I don't remember getting too far in Pac-Man in the uh, Atari version. So, this is pretty much my childhood skill here. <laughs> Very sad to say. I never really got far in Pac-Man, but my mom destroys Mrs. Pac-Man. Oh yeah, Definitely. you were about to say that earlier. Yeah, she has... She, she, I don't know, she just played it a <laughs> lot when she was younger, so whenever she just sees an arcade machine for Pac-Man or Mrs. Pac-Man, she has to play we went to a vintage game store, and she went to this old machine of Miss Pac-Man that was just sitting there, and she just played and beat the high score before we left the store. Jesus. Yeah. Before we left. She was just like, yeah, all right, here's one quarter. Yeah. I don't even know how long the machine's been there, but it looked old. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, this it's a tough game. It's funny, as as uh, simple as it is. Again, left, right, up, down. It's just a. Uh, 
you, I guess we're so used to moving in dimensions now in games. Oh, oh god. Oh, damn you it! You had it, Ben. You had it. You had it there. You had it right there. <laughs> you just have to I don't make know. Right I'm turn. sorry. <laughs>